Once again, this is Coach David, and I'm here with one of my fighters, Jose Ortega, okay. at Muay Thai America Gym, and we're going to go through some good practices about holding tie pads, okay? But first off, for the punches, it's the same thing. When we hold for punches, we hold just like the way we would hold for focus mitts, okay? So here, jab, okay, cross. And as you can see, I'm holding one pad if I just want him to punch once, okay? If I want him to punch with uh, left and right hand, I just put both of them up. If I just want right hand, so I would never hold two pads up and just say cross. You know, because I actually want going to prepare him for actually two punches, okay? So I can hold two up and say cross up cross. So cross up cross, you know? And so that way he has a good indication what's going on. Again, if I just want one strike, one jab, I only put one up. There's no need for me to put up this one. He has a good indication, okay? Once again, when I bring the pads in, I don't want to crank my pads. I don't want to just boom and smash his hands out. I want to offer just enough resistance so that he has a good a punch, good, and, and I'm not cranking the pad. Again, cranking the pad, again, results in injury. A lot of times we bend the wrist of somebody's wrist, okay? And sometimes we actually hurt their elbows, and we want to be able to have them train, optically train effectively, okay? So, and again, when I hold pads here, I try to bring it to the center of me. So once again, by having him punching, if I hold it way out here, okay, he's punching too much as a diagonal. So, I know it's like an X pattern, where I want to bring these pads to the center to the center, and that way he's clenching close to my face. Same thing with the hook here, I bring it to the center, so I'm not holding hooks way out here, okay? Way out here, and there's no reason to hold the pads that way. You wanna bring it close to the center of the body. And once again, what, uh, I yield the hook most of the times for the jaw, and so when I hold, I want it to be at jaw height, okay? Same thing with the uppercut. When I hold for the uppercut, I want it to be at under my, my chin, okay? So I wanna hold it at chin height here, so. I don't wanna hold it way out here, so I go like this, the range is wrong. So I want to hold it close, and boom, okay? And then we have that. Same thing with the kicks. When we, when we hold for the kicks, we want to be close to our body. So we want to absorb the kick, okay? All right, so if I'm holding the kick like, th like this, it means he's kicking upward. And we don't actually want him to kick upward. We actually want the kick to come around. Close to the body, good. good. So if I'm holding pads like this, or like this, it's so far away from my body. It doesn't emulate a good target. Again, we want to be able to have a good target for the fighter. Good, and offer a little bit of resistance, okay, for the, for the kick, okay? Same thing with knee. Boom, uh -huh, knee. Boom. Sometimes we just use one pad for the knee, okay? Good, all right, and then push kick. We try to put one pad on top, okay? So he has that pad here, he knows which target, and he's able to kick that target to push kick, okay? So this way, if you're holding pads, you can call it out if you want, you can go freestyle, you can catch, but the important thing is to hold pads with safety and emulate a target for your opponent to strike. Once again, my name is Coach David, I'm here with Jose Ortega, and we're at Muay Thai American Gym, okay?